If you're going to be fishing grass flats, you swim in a worm over the top of the grass. Where you swim in worms, something like, you know, a big old worm's got a big old tail where you're swimming over the top of the grass in grass and lily pads and stuff like that. What's one thing that's very, very critical equipment wise? Good morning, guys and girls. July 9, July 9. We're looking at Ephesians in our Catch a Better Life book. Uh, if you want a copy of this book, you can get it on jimmyhouston.com. All the Bass Pros, Cabela's, Books a Million, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, uh, just about anywhere where books are sold. Uh, if you want them autographed, uh, just uh, hunt me up or send us uh, your book or find one of the personal appearances I'm going to be at. Or you can, uh, if you order from jimmyhouston.com, let us know who you want to sign to and we'll be happy to autograph it. Catch a Better Life. Uh, we have a YouTube channel called Catch a Better Life by Jimmy Houston. Got about 20,000 people on there. Whatever you do, subscribe to that channel. I'm telling you, subscribe to that channel. You don't even have to look, watch them every day. Just watch them every now and then and it will create a better life. That's what God does. July 9, we're looking at Ephesians 4, 26 and 27. This is really short. He has just two verses. Do not give place to the devil. Do not give place to the devil. Here's what I wrote about that. When we uh, have a sport like fishing in our lives, and it's been a major part of my life, it's really rewarding, very rewarding. We develop friendships that last a lifetime. <laughs> we develop friendships that last an eternity, actually. We spend quality time with our kids, our family members, and quite frequently, many other family members as well. I've got nieces and, and cousins and aunts and uncles uh, that I've fished with, and, and it's just been, uh, the memories are unbelievable. It's done outdoors, which is extremely good for us from a health standpoint. Just look at my good buddies, Rolly Martin, Merle and Martin and Bill Dance. They fish almost every single day, and both of them are 80 years old. <laughs> Actually, over 80. But I'm just going to say a little, a little bit over 80. And my, as my buddy Richard Gene, the fishing machine, Richard Gene's got a great YouTube channel. If you don't on on his fishing channel, get on there. You'll love it. Richard Gene, the fishing machine. You know what he says? Go fishing. It's good for you. <laughs> That's about the way he says it. Go fishing. It's good for you. And it really is. Fishing is good for you for lots and lots and lots of reasons. Having fishing in our lives is very rewarding, very rewarding thing. That's why I say teach your kids how to fish. They can do it all their life, and it's very rewarding. Having the devil in our lives is a train wreck. <laughs> it is a total disaster if we let the devil into our lives. He'll use every single trick. He will use every attraction that he can think of. He will use every lie in his book to move in and take over our life. When we provide a place for the devil, he'll move in and totally take over our lives. Today's verse, this is cool, and I did something, I want to do something a little bit different here. I brought one of my Bibles out, and I want to do some other verses real quick here on this, uh, because I made reference to it here, and, and I, not all of you will read it, so I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> Today's verse is dead in the middle of verses about ideas and actions that we need to do or we need to avoid. These verses are in Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 25 through 32. Those seven verses. Read them and take them to heart. I'm going to read them for you. I'm going to read them for you. I got This is a MacArthur Study Bible, New King James Version. This is one that I read in 2020. I read the Bible completely through every year. I will write a little date on the front so I can pick one up and look at it. So I read that, book, that Bible completely through 1987. And, of course, I've given some of them away, too, and we used them as as prizes and this, that, and the other. But in looking back here in Ephesians, Ephesians 4, I'm going to start at 4.25. Uh, Therefore, putting away lying, <laughs> that's right, that's one thing we need to avoid, lying, let each of you speak truth with his neighbor before we are members of one another. So we are, we form the body of Christ. So because of this, we need not to lie. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Again, talking about things we do with each other. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer. 
but rather let him labor working with his hands. Quit stealing, start working. And that's what is good. That he may have something to give him who has none. So if you steal, you're probably not going to be giving some of that away. But if you work, if you earn that, you can give that to someone that has none. Let no corrupt, corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another. Be tenderhearted. Be forgiving, even as God in Christ forgave you. So that's the verses we're talking about there. When all started with do not give place to the devil. Do not give place to the devil. Don't let the devil into your life in any one of these situations that I just read about from God's word. Guys and girls, go out there and have you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. We talked about fishing grass flats. That's right. We talked about fishing grass flats. Yeah, the tip. Fish a swimming worm with heavy braid on grass flats. That's right. A braided line. That's the piece of equipment you want to think about. If you use just regular monofilament on there, it's got a lot of stretch in it, you're going to miss a lot of those fish. You're just going to simply miss them. So braided line and uh, big heavy rod's going to help too. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.